This is Saints Row 2. We're here on PlayStation 5. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So this is streamed through the PS3 Classics area so that you can enjoy this game. And you know what? They actually seem to have done a decent job of improving the streaming tech since the last time I played this. So for context, uh, my internet speed is 130 megabits down, 30 megabits up. So that does impact how the quality of the experience is. But yeah, I gotta say from like the last time I played this, which has been quite a while ago, I, I think the streaming tech has actually improved quite a bit. So what are we getting here for Saints Row 2? Well, it's 640p, 30 FPS. Ow! We're, we're teammates. I mean, I guess I punched you first, but... Yeah, so that's kind of what it is. It's gonna run like it did in the, the PS3 era. And that's... Can I not get past this guard? It's just... It's gonna run like it did in the PS3 era because it's just basically streaming that sort of system over so it's gonna be a game that definitely has some performance issues you know this one was pretty infamous for being like 20 fps a lot of the time especially in the open world so uh yeah just kind of keep that in mind and it's gonna look a little i guess you would say murkier than you might expect because it is streamed but it also is a very low resolution too just a little bit of a shame that PlayStation hasn't gotten some sort of... Uh, I guess you would say solution for backwards compatibility. I don't think they ever will at this point, but... Uh, yeah, it'd be pretty sweet if they did, wouldn't it be? Yeah. So anyway, Saints Row 2 is a classic Saints Row experience. I've thoroughly enjoyed this one over the years. I think a lot of people have. It's nice that it's available. You are... Coming off of the events of the first Saints Row game, things haven't gone well, you're recovering on this prison island, and then you're breaking out and the city has changed, you gotta get the Saints kinda going and rolling, and that's kind of like a big part of the game, is, is building your crew, and then dealing with all of the craziness that's happening as you try to take over the turf of this the city area. And this kind of is the template area for the Saints Row games for many, many years afterwards actually, to the point of when they attempted to reboot the franchise, which ended up killing the franchise entirely, which is fascinating. And that's where we're at today. So, Saints Row 2, you make your own character, it's an open world adventure, you get to enjoy the magic of crazy combat, over the top ridiculousness. This one was still grounded, like, the first Saints Row game is quite realistic and grounded, it's much more in line with GTA. And I'll give it to this one, this one is still relatively grounded, it's still relatively you know, it, Saints Row 3 is when things really start to going off the rails, and then by 4 in the spin-offs, it's just like, whatever goes. So this one still is a little bit more classical and being something that is a little bit more in line with the Grand Theft Auto games that it was kind of emulating and then eventually mocking uh, around that time, right? So it's kind of fun. You can play it alone. You can play it in co-op. It was multiplayer too, where you're able to face off against people in a variety of different modes and matches and have a character there too. It's a kind of a neat game. There's a variety of different vehicles you can use, a bunch of different combat that you can enjoy. We steal this car. No, okay. Should we get the... oh, we got the... We got the machine gun. But yeah, it was, it was kind of neat. This is build up this uh, power grab, I guess you would say, that you're making. You're trying to bring the, the Saints back to the high level that they were when you uh, kind of left them at the, the events of the previous game. Because the previous game, you were building the gang and 
And this one you're doing that too, but you're just you're trying to restore that kind of level and it's just it's crazy, it's ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun. It's the Saints Row games. It's it's a classic game, it's one I'd love to see upgraded, but we can't because I guess the source material or source engine stuff is all gone, so that's a bit of a shame. But uh, it's still a really great classic open world action pack game, but you're seeing here like performance just like tanking and we're not even specifically in a crazier area. This is where I'm saying is like having a backwards compatibility thing for this would be absolutely fantastic because if you do check this out on the Xbox side of things, you know, it runs smooth, it's the full open world adventure, you get a little bit of a bump up with like the HDR and stuff. And it's just a much, much better quality experience. It's not like mind-blowingly well, I guess getting a stable frame rate is a big deal, but you know, it doesn't completely change the game or remaster it, but it does provide something that's a little bit smoother for gameplay. But if all you've got is the PlayStation 5 and you want to play a little Saints Row 2, it's nice that the option is, at least at this time, you know, licensing and things change all the time too, right? It is available for you to check out and play in this form, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool indeed. You know, it's these action pack set pieces, and then once things open up, you're going to the f like the open world, the free roam. Well, it is now. You get to make the city your way. Prisoner transport. Literally. It's amazing that we were able to break out like we did. I gotta say, the character customizer, the hair didn't look as ridiculous in that as it does in the uh, regular gameplay. Oh, they got some moving clouds and stuff. Still water. To where we live, to where the saints reign. What other saints? What you talking about? On the boss. Once the Brotherhood Ronin and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before. Yeah, I gotta get some narrative delivery here. Let's get into the action. The coma victim wakes up, kills way to freedom. Oh, that's funny. Oh yeah, the Saints Road Dock. And then the the open world, it's just, uh, it's filled with stuff to do. Like, it is kind of amazing how big the the world of, of Saints Row 2 is. It's it's genuinely, like, I don't know if it's really massive in comparison to today, but it, it was actually, like, a really big expanse of space for the time. It was really impressive. All these, like, mini-games, activities, and things you could take part in, just a lot. Buy some new clothes at sloppy seconds, you know it. And the the world itself is like it's filled with activities that you can do. Uh, yeah, here it is, and all its jagged, low bit rate f uh, glory. But as I said, uh, over a couple of years, it actually does. At least to me, the quality of the stream on the the PlayStation service is greatly improved. Seriously, like it, much much better. It's not like the internet connectivity has gotten any better for me, sadly, but. Yeah, just the quality seems a lot better overall. Need some company? The taxi person? Do you have no shame? No money? Okay, well that sucks. Yeah, all the different factions. Everything in this is, is kind of ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun. And it's just like the insanity of it all. It's a real shame we didn't get, uh, you know... Oh, the screen tearing here is the worst, too. It's a real shame we didn't get to see this series kind of grow in a proper way. So this is all I've got is, like... Can I afford any of these? Oh, these are, like, DLC outfits? Okay. Basic T, Hensley. Torn T. Gotta say, they were way ahead of the game in regards to outfits and stuff. A tank top. Go for baby doll tea. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I remember all the crazy color customization where I was like, I should not be uh, designing clothing, that's for sure. It's not my strong suit. <laughs> As I become a clothing designer someday, and just be like, huh, I guess I was good at this. That would be funny. But yeah, all the personalization and the fun of this one. They just kind of lost that with Saints Row, didn't they? They really did. They just, they kind of just lost it, didn't they? Yeah, let's let's get the sweetheart little thing on there. Logo color? Pink. Let's do it. 
Nice. Mm, got some underwear options. Yeah, not too varied, I gotta say. Not too varied. Why do I still have a convict outfit on? Let's see, women's jeans. Why are they all, like, torn? Oh, Lyrica pants. I guess that was just coming in there as being popular. No other options? This is a very limiting selection. Do we got some small shorts? Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, uh, let's, let's get some Lyric pants that guy's going. Yeah, let's let's make it bright red. We're bringing Christmas back. Green, because green light means go. Oh, there's like a belt thing. Let's let's do like a weird pink on this one. Why not? Yeah, we can have a logo. Where does the logo go? Oh, that's a lame spot for a logo. <laughs> Bam. Get some cool socks. Oh. Not a whole lot of options, I gotta be honest with you. We'll get a fancy hat. Get to do rag. <laughs> we get some coats? Is this a backpack? I think you gotta unlock a lot of stuff, don't you? Yeah, you gotta unlock stuff. Yeah, I'm stylized. Look at me go. Yeah, this is exactly what everyone down the street walks in. This is the exact outfit I see everybody rocking all the time. Wait, what are we doing? Tine. I, I got totally distracted here. Yeah, look at me go. I'm like this tank. You got like a shank? I want the butterfly knife. That'll teach you to mess with me. Nobody messes with the saints. Alright, let's roll. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. The logo's on the back of the shirt, too? Oh, that's kind of funny. Not a stamina. Should I, like, steal a vehicle? So, yeah, I guess if you're also somehow not familiar with Saints Row 2, it's, it's kind of great. You know, big open world. You grab vehicles, cars, steal things, beat people up. There's, uh, what, what is that game called? There's, like, this one where you're just kind of throwing your body into the uh, everything. Oh, it's like insurance fraud or something like that. It's, it's very entertaining. This game is so utterly ridiculous. But kind of in the best of ways. Like it really is just a classic kind of experience. Yeah, th th these games were a lot of fun back in the day. When they did them right, they, they really nailed them. All right, let's go to Tine. As you can tell, I've got the best social style out there. Get out of my way! Hmm. I wish we had better loading too. It's not really any benefits either, right? I got the outfit. Johnny Gat's last appeal? We gotta go break out Johnny! Before they kill him. Benjamin King, an upcoming biopic. Michael Carr. Huh. That's not very nice. Let's get to the courthouse. After I beat these guys up. Take no notice to the people dancing. I guess they're dressed, so it's not a big deal. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ow! Is he beating up this woman? I just got out of jail. Okay, can we get out of here? Like, I love this kind of area. Oh, I didn't mean to do this! Wow, that actually really threw that person. Okay, how do I get out of here? Before I start, like, a huge war? At least it's so blurry you can't even really tell what anything is. Uh-oh. The trial's over in four minutes. Get to the courthouse. Good thing we left this vehicle here. 
get a car. Yeah, I know how to do a car. That's great. Yeah, get it off my screen. Go, 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 go! Gotta go save Cat! It's the Saints Row way. He's, he's, uh, if you're not familiar with Saints Row, he's, he's a super, super important guy. He's kind of a big deal around these parts, what can I say? Man, the performance on the <laughs> on this version of the game is so bad. It's so, so bad. Yeah, I'm used to the Series X playing version of this. It's just a lot better for backwards compatibility. But some backwards compatibility, even if it's streamed, is better than none. Although it is a rotating list that can vanish at any point. We're running out of time to save Gat. Oh, the Altor Corporation. Oh, these classic streets. You gotta go save Johnny. I take it I'm gonna need a better gun. Are they totally cool They're just walking in here with a shotgun? Awesome. What is a hot bar? As long as I don't cause any problems, I guess it's all cool. I'm assuming we have to shoot our way out, though. That's probably going to be what's happening. You've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder. Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. The saints are just, uh... I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh, yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting... <laughs> I got it. Let's go. To think they were gonna give him the death sentence. Wait, is the was the judge running with a shotgun? You ain't the first, you won't be the last. That's kind of impressive, isn't it? Oh yeah, I should probably shoot, stop shooting all these men in the balls with the shotgun. It's kind of cruel. Oh, the magic of saints. I kind of missed the assault rifle we had earlier, though. Oh, and there's like, there was cheats and stuff, too. I remember not being able to get any achievements and stuff because I had the cheats on when I played this back in the day. It's a lot of enemies. You gonna kill any of them out there, Johnny? Or you're just gonna have me kill everybody. Let's get out of here. We don't have to kill every officer. Thanks for busting me out. No problem. Kill me if I got executed. You still with Aisha? Yeah, I mean, got a little tricky with me on death row and her being on the DL after faking her own death. But, you know, we found a way to make it work. The driving in this is like abysmal. Mostly because of the performance. This game was impressive for its time though, seriously. It's a great game, it's always worth checking out if you've never played it. It's so, so very well done. Troy must be more forgiving than I. Troy's the chief of police? Yo, you better start getting with the times. Julius is missing, 
Ben King wrote an autobiography. Dex is a... Yo, don't even get me started.